Hey everybody out there in Hot Rod Land, it's Phil coming to you once again from Carcraft Classics. Today showing off this staggeringly gorgeous C2 Corvette. <clears throat> Before we get started with that, for any of you maybe watching one of, the, one of my videos for the first time, this is Carcraft Classics. We're located at 321 Canton Road here in Cumming, Georgia, 30040. We're about 30 miles directly north of Atlanta and about 40 minutes from the airport. Phone number for the shop is 470-239-4977. Again, my name is Phil and my cell number is 770-317-1415. We can also be reached via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. And be sure to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com. Uh, later on today, we're going to take 60 plus pictures of this gorgeous car inside, outside, and underneath. We'll have those posted to the website soon. Just wanted to do a little walk around video because everybody who follows our page and the customers that buy from us, they all seem to love the videos in addition to the pictures. It gives you a really good description of the car. Also, if you're into classic cars, classic trucks, neon signs, wheel and tire packages, things that we sell here at Carcraft Classics. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we're putting videos up two, three a week of the cool cars that we find. And uh, while I am a licensed dealer, I wouldn't call this a dealership. We're just always on the prowl for cool, unique, affordable classics. We're trying to find the diamonds in the rough. We're not a volume dealership. We find the cars, we fix what's wrong, and we pass them on to you guys at, at a fair price. So what we have here is a car that uh, has been here in my town for 30 plus years. It's owned by a gentleman that's been a lifelong hot rodder here in Cumming, Georgia. And we couldn't be happier. You know, C2 Corvettes, we've had quite a few of them. And this may be the nicest one we've had. It is just gorgeous. I don't even know where to start. It is a 1964 model, which is the second year of the C2 Corvette. As you can see, it's been painted red. They called that Riverside Red back in the day. It's got a new convertible top on it get more into all that here in just a moment it's got a v8 under the hood she's gorgeous all right wrote myself a couple notes from when we met with the uh, previous owner just want to run down those things really quickly got a table full of little parts and documents that, that come with the car in addition to the clean title but uh, he's had the car as I said 30 plus years it does have a, the correct period correct 327 cubic inch V8 in it I don't believe it's matching numbers we haven't run any numbers but uh, I don't believe it's a matching numbers car I do believe it came from a C2 Corvette more than likely a 1966 model the heads in the cam that are in the engine we know are from a 1966 model it's also got a four-speed manual transmission. And that Riverside Red, I know it looks fresh and brand new, but it's 20 years old. And uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you more of that as we walk around the car. The wheels are not true GM knockoffs. They were made by a, by a gentleman named Daryl Red, who's also located here in Cumming, Georgia. Back in the day, they used to manufacture those wheels. So they look really close to the originals, but they're... They're not the super high dollar originals, and most of our company uh, customers will appreciate that. So you can drive it around without sweating and worrying about a chip in your $10,000 wheels. Those are uh, replica wheels, but they, it is a true knockoff. I mean, you do have to knock that spinner off to, to get to the lug nuts. But, uh, but anyway, I told you also that the convertible top was new as well. And here are the parts we have on the table. You see jack parts. That's the original battery hold down got some really cool pictures here from when the car was uh, painted as I mentioned to you 20 plus years ago you can see 
It was taken down to the fiberglass and repainted in that Riverside Red. So we have some photo documentation of that paint job that again took place a long time ago, but it still looks really, really sharp. Here's some personal photos from the owner of the car, previous owner, really nice gentleman. And those may go with the car, I'm not sure, but uh, just nice to know who you're buying the car from and that it was well cared for. You can see here on this notebook, this was used by the company uh, that did the restoration, is they not only painted the car, not only took it down to the bare fiberglass, as I mentioned, but they also changed all the old bushings and gaskets and so on and so forth. Spacers, I see notes here for that. All the GM part numbers from the things that they've changed, like the bell housing cover you see there, the lifters, throw out bearing for the clutch, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, very detailed during that restoration. Again, it's got not only the name of everything that was switched, including the badges and emblems, but it also has the GM part number. <coughs> Front brake cable was listed there. So super cool to have all this documentation. And pile of receipts from American Classics, Eckler's Corvette, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Summit Racing, every part that was purchased, we have a receipt for over the years. And obviously, there's plenty of them with the car being, you know, owned by this gentleman for 30 plus years. There she is. I'll tell you, that body style, <clears throat> that C2 Corvette that ran from, what, 63 to 67. It's one of the most iconic cars America's ever produced. Riverside Red might be the best color. Those knockoff wheels are cool. Raised white letter BFG radial TAs. All the bumpers front and rear were replaced during that restoration as were the badges, as I mentioned to you before. There's the numbers on that Corvette engine. It's down there. So we can run those numbers if it's important to you, but I believe this was a pullout from a 66 Corvette. Again, it is a 327 V8. It's connected to a four-speed manual Muncie transmission, which uh, quite possibly could be the original. But uh, for the NCRS guys that want everything original, this is probably not your car. Uh, you can see there a set of ceramic coated headers helping this engine breathe better, better than it ever did when it came from GM. So it's kind of a mix under the hood here of original parts and then not original parts. You know, you see the, the fluted valve covers, um, those are original to the 327s for the C2 Corvettes. Then you see, you know, ceramic or porcelain plug covers, I'm sorry, uh, spark plug boots. You know, those obviously didn't come as original. There's also a newer steering box. The ignition's been upgraded from points, from a point system to electronic ignition. I'll show you that again when we get to the other side. And then you have something like, you know, an original radiator hose, original fan shroud. You know, it, it, again, it's a mix of period correct parts that the car wasn't born with and then parts that the car was born with. That water neck, like I said, we have the original sitting over there on the table. That one we just put on today because it was, uh, there was a small leak in the old metal water neck. Uh, had some pitting and uh, just couldn't get it to stop leaking so we put that new one on there but the original comes with the car underside of the fiberglass hood can't already tell I'm just a huge C2 fan just absolutely love the body style on this car and the C3 there's that Protronics electronic ignition system brand new battery engine's been detailed see the water pumps nice and freshly painted clutch fan and it does have period correct winters aluminum intake manifold may have seen that before but just in case I missed that you can see the stamp right there for the winter's intake which the C2 Corvettes did come with 
The alternator's uh, a newer one. I think that's been replaced as well. When the car came to us, it had a few things going on. That leak at the water neck, it needed a line from the radiator overflow tank to the radiator. We took care of that. Um, we thought there was a problem with the charging system. It turned out that there was a draw on the battery from the footwell light. So we corrected that ground. Uh, we thought we were going to replace the alternator, but it turned out that it was working just fine. So we've just done real minor things to the car since we've got it. Just like all the classics always need, minor adjustments. Look at that car. Iconic body style. Let's take a closer look at these knockoff wheels. As I said, these are replicas. And it's got P215s, P215 65R 15 inch BFG radial TAs with the 15 inch replica knockoffs. Rocker panel trim is in excellent shape. I'm going to tell you, the paint is not good. It's not even great. It's excellent. This paint job is slick. I don't think there's been a thousand miles put on this car in the last five years. Previous owner had his eye on another hot rod and needed room in the garage, which is the only reason I've been lucky enough to offer this car to all of you. 1964 Chevy Corvette that's been tastefully restored with an eye on originality and also reliability. Again, the point system's been removed. Now it has the electronic ignition. I will warn you, the previous owner is a dog's fan. So am I. Of course, the sticker's removable, but in my heart, I hope you keep it. Anyway, glass is in great shape. No cracks in the windshield, no problems with the trim. You can see the trim is in excellent shape. Even the wiper arms aren't pitted. This car is really in excellent shape. Vent windows, trim around those, excellent shape. Little window fuzzies are even good. Door handles are not pitted. There's not too many C2s left in the world in this condition that aren't over $100,000. And I can assure you this one is not going to cost you $100,000. But it very well may be worth that in 10 years. Because again, they're not making them anymore. The guys are really sitting on them. The real nice ones, it's hard to find them for sale. Plenty of fixer uppers out there, but uh, but a car in this condition, which I would easily put nine out of ten. And the only ding I'm giving it, why I'm not saying a ten, is because again the engine came out of a another Corvette. Take a look here. Again, there's going to be pictures on the website of the undercarriage as well, which looks as good as the top side. But there you can see the new exhaust. The car has never seen a day of rain. tail end on this car is just so iconic. Just love it. Again, it is a newer top. So you can actually see through the plastic back window. Very clear. Top again is in excellent shape. Not that you're going to have that up very often, but that Riverside red paint is just stunning. Stunning. Pin straight, no cracks, no bubbles, no problems with the body at all. Interior is in great shape. I'll show you that here in a minute. Just gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to pause the video here for just a moment. 
And I'm gonna go put that top down, give you a look at the car with the top down. So just bear with me a moment. We'll be right back in just a minute. Okay, everybody, we're back with the 1964 Corvette. What a beauty. I know you're tired of hearing me say that, but I can't help it. So we've got the top down, so you can get a look at the body lines with the top down, which is, I'm guessing, the way you are going to keep it most of the time. The carpet kit appears to be brand new in this car, including the carpet that's in the back. Uh, where the top folds down in the trunk, so so to speak, compartment. Now you'll have to just take my word for it right now because the top's in the way, you can't see it. But uh, again, there'll be still shots on my website, carcraftclassics.com, of uh, as much as the car as we can get to, including that little trunk area. I'll be sure to get a, a picture from back there. But here she is with her top down. Hot diggity dog. That thing is sweet. Now the body lines on the car are straight, the paint is in great shape, the trim is all there, the glass is good, and here's your first look at the interior. Again, as I mentioned, the exterior has been done in Riverside Red, and it's got the black Chevrolet Corvette interior. Dashboard is in excellent shape. I've had some Corvettes that had a little bit of sun wear. And they've had cracks in the dash. This one does not have that. It's got the waterfall dash. Got the Corvette stereo. There's that four-speed manual. Again, that's a Muncie four-speed. Seats are in great shape as well. This was a professional paint job. First sign of that is you can see they took the door hardware off before they painted it. One of my pet peeves, and people don't do that, it looks so terrible. Rockers are in great shape. As I mentioned, that rocker trim is good. The uh, original GM sill plates are good. Door panels, like the car, are in excellent shape. Small amount of pitting, it looks like, right there in that little trim piece. Corvette Stingray, remember in 64, it was two words. I think in 69 it changed to one word Stingray. It's a little Corvette information for you. Woo wee! Who wouldn't want to be cruising this thing down the road, especially at this time of year? Got the teak steering wheel. I don't believe that's original to the car. I think that the previous owner mentioned to me that he purchased that afterwards and had that put on, but it is a real Corvette teak steering wheel. You can see it's got some wear to it. It was used, which is exactly what you want. Some patina. That three-spoke steering wheel, that comfort grip skinny steering wheel is just as iconic as this car. All right. The driver's side door panel, also in excellent condition. No rust in the car. Bottoms of the doors, of course, it's a fiberglass car, but can get rust in what we call the bird cage and frame. This car has none of that. As you can see, the door jams are all clean. Rockers, as I mentioned before. Driver's seat is not worn, coming apart or anything like that. You can see some of that carpet right there. she is pretty one of my favorite things about the 64 is the gauges you know they have that 3d appearance to them car shows 7,000 miles I'm sure that's 107 but you see how they have kind of a depth to them those gauges the kind of cone shaped and the needle how they did it I don't know has a little bend in it to follow the contour or the shape of that cone and the gauges and that's unique to 64 and the temp gauges are the same way, is the same way I should say, as well as the oil pressure gauge. Gauges on this car do work. Battery and fuel over there. And the question I know all of you Corvette enthusiasts are gonna ask me, do the lights work? And they absolutely do. They go up and down, they work properly. Middle console's in great shape as well. 
Again, that four-speed Muncie transmission. The oh shit handle, it's not cracked. Along with the dash, as I mentioned, it's in excellent shape. Let's fire this bad boy up. go actually going up pretty close to the same time which is unusual for these Corvettes those those headlights can be a pain in the neck on these Corvettes but we did a little bit of uh, work on the driver's side motor it needed to be uh, just lubricated we thought we were gonna have to replace it but when we got it out just cleaned it up lubricated it put it back in cleaned off some rust because there's a brown there with the light headlight motor clean that off got the ground working properly and she's ready to go everything working on this vehicle got to check the wipers not sure on the wipers oh baby just like the head the uh, front license plate says USA number one one of the proudest creations out of any industry here in the United States over the years this iconic C2 Corvette, 1964. She sure is sweet. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Got the side gills, add them horizontal like that on the 64 model. Car runs and drives great. Now, this is a manual steering, manual brake car, but you'd never know it driving it. And it turns fine. Let me get those headlights to go down. It turns fine, it brakes fine, but it is a smaller car. That may have something to do with it. All right, there's those headlights down. All the lights working, including the interior lights, as I mentioned to you before, we found out that there was a little bit of a draw from the footwell light. So I can't show you out here in the sun, but take my word for it. That works as well. All right. So again, for pictures of the undercarriage, check our website. Probably in a day, possibly two, we'll have all pictures of the inside, the outside, the undercarriage, which again is as clean as the top side. You have an investment grade Corvette here. This is your opportunity. The asking price for the car is $65,900, $65, which for a car, you know, restored like this one in this condition to me is a good deal. $65,900. And we can also help with financing. We can also help with shipping, put the car in your driveway, anywhere here in the United States, and we can also assist with the international shipping. And any kind of customization. Let's say you want to change the wheels or change something, you know, under the hood, we can certainly help you. So again, my name is Phil. I'm the owner here. My number is 770-317-1415. Call if you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule a test drive or you'd like to get started with the finance process or get a shipping quote, what have you, just give me a holler. Again, it's 770-317-1415. The car does have a clean Georgia title, which will, of course, be transferred or reassigned to the, to the new buyer. Some of the cars, the older cars here in Georgia, don't have a title, the older stuff. 
but this particular card does, so don't worry about that. All that paperwork I showed you earlier and the extra parts and the little bit of touch-up paint that we have in Riverside Red, that will all come with the car. The extra pictures I've got to check on, but uh, everything else will come with it. Again, 1964 Chevy Corvette Stingray convertible. Four-speed manual transmission, turnkey runs and drives. Paint's in excellent condition. Just let me know if you have any other questions. I want to thank you very much for watching the video. I really, really do appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Be safe out there. God bless America.